today's Psych News, I'm looking at a study examining whether testosterone can influence political attitudes. I'm psychologist Dr. Becky, and here's what the researchers did. They studied 136 healthy adult males who were randomly assigned to receive either testosterone or a placebo. After administration, participants were asked how strongly they identified with their political party and how warmly or favorably they felt towards political candidates from both major US political parties. The findings were very specific. Amongst men who identified as weakly affiliated Democrats, testosterone administration was associated with an approximate 12% reduction in strength of Democratic Party identification and around 45% increase in warmth ratings towards Republican presidential candidates. Importantly, this effect did not appear in strongly affiliated Democrats or Republicans of any strength of affiliation. So this wasn't a broad political shift and it wasn't a change in ideology or voting behavior. It was a measurable shift in emotional orientation towards political figures and only with a subgroup whose political ideology was already less entrenched. Now here's why this potentially makes sense and why it actually confirms what we already know about testosterone. Testosterone doesn't tell people what to believe, it affects how people position themselves socially. It's linked to things like sensitivity to status, awareness of groups and hierarchies, and how strongly someone feels attached to a group. Politics isn't just ideas, psychologically it's team identity. Potentially why this research went in the direction that it did is because if someone's attachment to their political party or team is already weak, testosterone can make that attachment more flexible, not by changing beliefs, but by loosening emotional loyalty. That's why this effect only showed up in people who had weak political identities. People with strong identities didn't move at all. What this study shows is not that hormones decide politics, but that biology can subtly influence how emotionally attached we feel to groups, especially when that attachment isn't very strong to begin with. The takeaway here is not that hormones control beliefs, it's that our beliefs and identities are not as fixed or purely rational as we often assume, particularly when those identities are loosely fixed. And that's today's Psych News.